Cash Color Cannabis, a higher level of conversation on LiveHipHopDaily.tv. Like I said, I got Big Chico with us tonight, man. Chico, what's good with you, boy? What up, what up, what up? Ain't shit, man, man. Look, I, like, I was hyping you up before before the show. I was like, for real. I, I got a chance to find him on Instagram. I don't know how everybody else find music, but I find it in the weirdest ways. And, uh, you know, ever since, I told you when I first, you know saying, we had you on the other show, I was like, bro, I'm dead serious a fan. Like, I, I'm, I'm wanting to see where this is about to go. So, right, yeah. as Shit, we- You and me both. <laughs> as we go into a new year, I start hearing rumbles of music coming and collabs yeah. and all that. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, all right, yeah. we gotta stop playing and get this boy on the, on the, on the podcast, yeah. man. So, thank you for coming through tonight, man. Mm-hmm. All right, so for those who don't know, who is, um, who is Big Chico? Big Chico is, uh, uh, intelligent black man from the east side of Atlanta. Okay, you know what I, mean? I say the east side, but I went to Stone Mountain. You know what I'm saying? So did that count? You know, because I'm um, you know Childish Gambino do that. I remember um, my man yeah. Maurice Garland had a whole issue with it. It's not. It's, it, it, it's not. It's not. It's not. You know, it, it is the east side of it. it it's just yeah. like far east yeah you know what i'm saying super far east it's all good man like i yeah. remember east east atlanta is now the cool place to be in atlanta like i remember coming back through atlanta early and everybody was either from the west side or saying it was from the west side now you can't find somebody waiting from east atlanta like everybody from east uh, atlanta. Everybody, zone six zone six east everybody atlanta. from zone six i had to post the uh a map of the zones on, on Instagram, just so you know. You got I feel to like sometime. a lot of people are just confused about that. Whole thing. <laughs> you got to you know sometime. You got to sometime, man. So, um, but Chico, one of the things we know about you is um, you're an artist when it comes to the music side. That's what I want to talk about first. You know, I know you got other things, but when it comes to the music, you 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 got a certain artistry about you, which I think is dope. You know, what I'm saying when I first saw the Lonely video, it was the flow, the demeanor, like everything just really came off. Atlanta, but not Atlanta, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, I got it. Speak to people about the style of Big Chico when it comes to the music for those who haven't heard you just yet. Like, what, what, what is your style and what sets you apart from other acts? Um, I think right now what sets me apart is that, you know, what I do is not trendy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just off the rip. It's kind of like a different sound. I know a lot of times it shows, like, you know, it'll be like 12 acts. And, all of them kind of sound the same. A lot of A's. And I hear a lot of people like, damn, when you came on, like it was just like a whole different shift of energy. You there you know go, energy. Saying? So, yeah. which is cool, you know what I mean? And like, I tell people all the time, like, you know, I know a lot of artists nowadays make music to, you know, pop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which, you know, is an aspect to it, but like I make music that I like. And like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, my music is, it comes from my, you know, inspirations and, the people I grew up listening to. Word, know, man. word, word. You know, speaking of growing up listening to, who'd you grow up listening to? Mm. Well, shit, man. We could talk eight hours about <laughs> who I grew up listening. I, I grew up listening to, you know, a lot of music, not not just hip hop either. You know what I'm saying? But like, as far as rapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Field Mob was, you know, a big part of like just my whole like, you know listening and understanding that just because you're from the south you don't have to like make music like Lil John or you know whatever at the time that's what that was hot yeah you know what I'm saying so yeah crunk music yeah and I I love I listen to a lot of you know eastern music midwest music you know what I'm saying I like the common and Talibs and conscious and all of those like you know what I'm saying rapper rappers you know what I mean yeah where do you stand on the Wu-Tang versus Outkast debate Look at her face. <laughs> her like I found a common friend. See, for one, it's not even really a debate. Not at all, man. Because Wu Tang and Dungeon Family were two totally different things. Yeah, you know what I mean. I feel like Wu Tang was coming from a whole different way of life. You know what I mean. Dungeon Family is definitely to me a lot more like introspective. You know what I'm saying. Yo, Dungeon. What Dungeon Family was able to do musically, as far as blessed outcast. Goody Mob, from Cool Breeze to to Witch Doctor and all them, and really put them all in their own vibe. It was mm-hmm. was amazing in itself. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to get. We could really talk about that for about eight hours. I, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you right now. I wanted to make a comment. Yeah. I didn't want to fuck up the interview. And yeah, shit you you because I just wanted to say, even though I love Dungeon Family, I love Outkast, but what are they doing today? My argument. I mean, 
up it, it's too much too long i might you say you already know my argument wu-tang literally had people calling to have rappers changing their names to italian mobsters like like that's a whole different level of of, of influence like people true, true. even even like i said even biggie had the commission caesar leo dejan i'm like when, when big do that Yo, when big do that that's that's raekwon man we can go on netflix today and see a movie Directed by the RZA. You could go on. You can go on Netflix and see a, a movie directed by yeah. uh, Dungeon Family too. Yeah, you can hold this whole movie, man. Yeah, man. And his soundtrack you too. You talking about a documentary? You talking about the documentary? No, nah, I'm talking about um, what is it? Um, yeah, Out of Wild, the movie, bro. I was talking about the documentary. Oh, that we. Don't. But yeah. but at the same time, it's like you know, it is they, what it is. They, they, they was uh, they didn't die. All right, I got a referee display because we gonna go this. All, we gonna go all day. <laughs> we, gonna go, we gonna go all day, but we gonna go all day. Yeah. So, all right, that's dope, man. Like, I, I like, I like how you describe the music. I like how you describe that because you are very Atlanta, but it's not all that Atlanta. -y, you know what I mean? When you hear music, when you hear people describe the Atlanta music scene, you'll hear two things, and I think both of them are kind of like not just stereotypes, but they're boldly false stereotypes. And one is everybody in Atlanta work together, like am amazingly. Like that's why everybody's successful. Like everybody single, everybody work together. And somehow there's this, what you believe is repetitive is not repetitive. Like I'm hearing so many A's and it's almost like it's a carbon copy of every, like you say, I can go to a showcase right now and it feel like I just wanted, I heard of one long ass mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Just different people rapping. Basically, yeah. Yeah, so how do you feel about that? Like, let's talk of number one. Do you feel like the, the, the Atlanta work with everybody, is that a true statement or what? Um, I mean, no, that is not a true statement. Yeah. Because everybody don't work with everybody. You know what I'm saying? If that was the case, I have a song of future. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I know there's levels to the shit, but also like, you know, I think people, it's Atlanta's, kind of small when it comes to like the music world you know what i'm saying like it's only it's it's a lot of studios but it's only yeah. so many studios yeah you know what i'm saying it's a lot of venues but it's only so many venues so mm -hmm. like you know you're gonna run into people and you know it is what it is atlanta's like narnia to people like you know what i'm saying like it's this mystical place you're gonna find and when you find it everything's gonna be like slightly better or it's gonna be you're gonna be, it's gonna be way different than where you was from and i'm like it, this ain't no different than any other place like it's gonna you really gotta work you know what i'm saying like like absolutely there's really still clicks you know what i'm saying like there's groups you know what i'm saying like there's reasons why you see records pop on the radio that you'd be like where this come from i mean like there was a chain of events is where that came from you know what i'm saying like it wasn't it wasn't as organic as you might want to think right, right, but right. that's not to be cynical but it's just more to shine a light on why we don't necessarily see artists like yourselves popping up or like alien craft popping up you know what I'm saying on the radar as much as we might hear yeah. uh somebody who has more of what they call a trap sound now right well yeah. again too like you know that sound is more to me like radio based yeah you know what i mean i i'm not i don't really expect the radio to play my music you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. it's cool i really don't need the radio to play my music but at the same time you know i just feel like especially in atlanta it's just like kind of like a, it's just a sound you yeah. know what i'm saying it's the sound a lot of other people imitated that sound i you know what i mean with truthfully you know what i'm saying hey. but you know which is why i feel like everything kind of sound the same now it's just like you know it's it's it's, it's an epidemic for real though like at this point because it i do want to see people try to grab some kind of imagination because it's just really at this point you cop you play you we, we're um painting by numbers you know what i'm saying like like it's literally they telling you the formula and i'm like stretch out your imagination like people want to see different shit man absolutely yeah and um i know we're about to get a glimpse of some different shit soon um you and jers got a project coming out 420 right for those who don't know jers is another artist down here terribly talented i mean ex extremely talented mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying another dude mm -hmm. who really gang. needs a, needs a, needs another platform to jump off on but yeah. you and him got a, a project coming out that's right. That's yeah. right. So we got Prime Family Mob, Big Chico, Jers. Um, you know, we just kind of put two heads together and, and brought two worlds together. Yeah. And I, I really feel like the sound that we created is crazy. You okay. know what I mean? Who'd y'all work with production wise? Um, Wait, Matt, No. Yeah. Um, Groove. Um, really, basically, those two kind of built the sound for the project. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, we got uh, Tuki on the tape. Shout out to Tuki, man. We got Kraft on the tape. Okay. We got Stago Lee on the tape, which if you don't know, is the guy I perform with, with the saxophone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Who's an amazing, amazing artist himself too, you know yeah. what I mean? But 
Yeah, it's dope, man. It's a dope project. We just shot a video today for the uh, the first thing. It was called Stay Afloat. Word, 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 man. So yeah. whenever you get that video, man, drop it over here, man, so we could, we could, we could play that during one of the shows. Already. That's what's up. So it's coming out, um, that's, of course, it's coming out on 420. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> what y'all going to do to celebrate that, man? We going to see any parties or something like that? Yeah, unfortunately, they won't be on 420, but it'll be, you know, shortly after. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be in Portland. Yeah, you're going to be in Portland, right? Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna try to find my way out there to come come rock out with that. Like that's that's a different experience, yeah. and I thought that that might be something Cash Color Canvas needs to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's a weed fest. Yeah, exactly. in Portland. In Portland, man. So yeah, that's all you got to say to me. I'm I'm in there. And then plus Zach Ultra gonna be there. And Zach Ultra literally smoke out of an actual pipe. Oh, that's my guy. <laughs> like like I see Zach was on the show. Matter of fact, he coming through on the on the on the not the tenth, but the following week. He coming down here. And Zach, last time he came, he had an actual pipe like my like my granddad, mm -hmm. and my man had bud all in it. I'm like, that's special life. Yeah, man. <laughs> that's special life right yeah. there. Me and Zach got me and Zach got a record. Oh, I heard, man. We are gonna talk about these yeah. collabs because I've I've heard you and Zach got a record. I heard um you and Chris J was in the studio cooking up, man. What's, oh, what's man all this work you putting in right some, here? Me and Chris J got some crazy shit. Okay. Yeah, we got some crazy shit. I ain't even gonna talk too much about that right now. Yeah, see, both of y'all try to be too covert about it. Chris be like, yo, me and Chico's in the studio. Can I hear something? Ah, I can't do it just yet. <laughs> hey, what y'all playing me for then, man? <laughs> she uh, playing me for, man. What you know I came for? It's there, though. Okay. It's coming. Okay, man. You know what? I want to speak about all the collabs because I'm like, between Jer, Zach, and, and Chris, clearly my man's been working. Um, are we gonna see a solo project come from you sometime this year? Or is that already cooking up, cooked up? Yeah, I got two solo projects. I'm okay. This year. One, one is a mixtape. It's a Soul Guy volume two. All right. You know what I'm saying? And the other one is the album. Okay. Ain't nothing new under the sun. You know what I'm saying? So. What you definitely gonna hear some some new this year. That's what's man? up. That's what's up. Well, I'm proud that you 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 putting it out there and find, and letting people know. You know, what I'm saying what it really is outside of Atlanta. Like, there's really this whole other scene that really is dope and needs to be needs to be seen as well, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you over there smoking good. What you smoking on? Here, man. You want? Oh, not. You know what? I tried uh, not to smoke with y'all rappers. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> More for me. Y'all be getting me stupid, man. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Scotty ATL. <laughs> Scotty came down here and me smoking with yeah, him, man. I that's was my partner done, too, man. man. Fuck with Scotty. I was done, man. I was like, y'all need to, I can't play with y'all no more, man. What's your favorite strain? My favorite strain used to be Blue Dream, but I'm really like, I had some gelato not too long ago. I noticed like some cliche rapper weed. Yeah, I was about to say, that's the rapper weed now, But man. that shit tastes good. That's the, you know what I'm saying? Gelato? Like, that's the rapper weed, man. Yeah, that shit tastes good, man. Remember back in the day when Purple Haze was the rapper weed? Yeah, Purple Haze, chocolate. My thing was chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate tie. I told you how when I first got some Purple Haze, I kept the jar. I didn't even want to open the jar because I'm like, it felt so special. Like, I didn't want to no, give it, it up special. or nothing. When you get some purple, I, I got some purple in here. Damn. Yeah, what I you smoking some, on right now? Some GDP and some mint cookies. You I just mixed it up. That's you know what's what I'm up, saying? man. He's like, I'm just living life, man. <laughs> I'm just living life out here. When did you first start smoking? When I was 14. Really? You was one of them dudes. Like, I keep telling people I didn't smoke till I was, like, almost 20. And they'd be, they'd be killing me. Yeah, I've been smoking for a while, man. All right. Oh, what, man. what got you into it in the first place? Um, Just really the people in the neighborhood and shit. Just being a... Stone Mountain, Georgia shit. Yeah, little nigga running <laughs> around. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Oh, what, what, why do you smoke? Like, is 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 it one of those like you know saying it helps me relax type deals or helps yeah, me create? Absolutely, you know what I mean. Um, you know, I deal with anxiety and all kind of shit. You okay, know what I'm so we it does a lot for me. Yeah. You know what I mean. I, had, I you know I do too. I tell people I go to I I was going to a therapist last year and um I was going there for ex ex anxiety that I thought was going too far and I was telling her about my life and I told her I smoked. And I told her, I was like, yo, you know, I'm thinking about stopping, though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like personally ever saying I have a habit. Not saying I don't like weed, but I just don't. I'm not that person. You ain't like, trying to depend on Yeah, that. I don't like feeling like I'm, I'm that guy. Yeah, I feel you. And she looked me dead in the face and said, I think it might be helping you. <laughs> 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 she said, I think you might not want to do that. I think that's the thing that has actually kept you in a straight line this whole time. Yeah. So here I am. <laughs> Real travel, yo. Here I am. Here I am, man. So that's what's up. So you've been you've been smoking for a while. So you you a good roller too. I can see that, man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I'm terrible with papers. Like yeah. I I'm I'm the last dude to get a paper too. Like I'm trying now just to just to, so I could be in them parties and be like, yeah, I can roll one, but. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, I, I, I'm dead. Yo, I'll be real with y'all. I be in parties and I be like, you know what? I see everybody don't want to do tobacco. I personally don't either all the time. Like I I'd rather something else, but. 
me and me and white papers. If you see me smoking the white paper, don't let, smoke let the me white do that paper, by myself. Man. Why don't not? smoke the white paper. Oh, the bleach. That's the bleached out papers. Yeah, but this what you do though. Even if you can't roll joints right now, yeah, get you some cones. True, you know fry it off. But yeah. I would I, honestly, I lied. It, cones wasn't around when I learned how to roll joints. Yeah, so you know. Oh hell, not fourteen. I don't really need to. I don't really need to. I mean, I wasn't. I wasn't even rolling it down. I was just smoking it. Yeah. When did you know you were smoking bad weed? Because we we had this conversation a little while ago too. Like you know, I remember smoking and I thought this shit was bomb. And I know yeah. right now it was really good, made at best. Like oh, yeah. it was, remember Arizona was the weed at one point. Like nigga, if you said you had Arizona, that shit came off like you had the loudest pack possible. <laughs> if you pass me Arizona right that shit now, was good I would Bama really. Grass. It would be a fight. Like why yeah. would you give me a headache? You know what I'm saying? Like when did you realize you were smoking? Well, did you realize ever that you were smoking bad weed? I didn't realize I was smoking bad weed until I smoked some good weed. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, damn. All right, damn. Okay. <laughs> I ain't smoking no shit. Then you, you smoke, you hit the good weed, and then go back to your weed. You're yeah. like, oh, damn. Damn, man. So that's how you know. You know what I mean? That's when you put people out of business because there was legit somebody in the corner pulling weed out of a sock. That Even was, now, that, I be thinking I have good weed. I mean, I do have good weed. Yeah. I, but like, I'm smelling it. He got I hit somebody weed. else, man, and be like, damn. This shit really tastes good. Like, True. Maybe my True. weed ain't as good as I thought it was. <laughs> Are you a dabber? Do you do you dab? Yeah, I fuck with the dabs. I fuck with the dabs. See, I I for me to dab. But dabbing is something you gotta do at the at the crib. Basically, you know there like, you go. It's like it's I don't like drinking outside because I get too. I know me. I could drink way too much, and next thing you know, I'm on the bathroom floor. We've seen this before. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on the bathroom floor, all the clothes off because I'm sweating that hard. Wow. I'd rather do that in my crib than in somebody else's crib or in somebody up. else's club. <laughs> you know, feel me? I'd rather Yo, do that. Imagine how I feel. Uh, this I do this every day. Oh, I thought you was about so, to give us a story, and I was like, "Don't do nah, that story. Nah, <laughs> don't do that story. That nah, really happened." It just like people come through with weed, and it's like I I smoke a certain type of weed, and when people I, I learn from my brother over here, Jay Black, sitting down, and some days when he when I pass it to him, he be like, "I'm good." Then I be like, "All right, I shouldn't be smoking this shit." <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's how you know. Yeah. I'm straight. Yeah. I'm straight. <laughs> Yo, if you could smoke with anybody, who would it be? And why? Like and, and what's the reason? Like why would you link up with this person and be like, let's burn one? I wanna smoke with Snoop. Everybody wanna smoke with Snoop at least one time. Yeah, I gotta feel like that's a bucket list thing. True. You know what I mean? True. For real. I gotta smoke with Snoop, man. I came close. I was in the, uh, I was at the, uh, when Snoop and Wiz was on tour, they had a show. And you was almost I, had a chance? I was with Tukey. And Tukey got me backstage like a real nigga. Hey. I met Corrupt <laughs> that night for the first time. That was epic. You, I know you had a chance to smoke with, with Corrupt now. Nah, I did, man. He was with two little bad Asian chicks. And he was smiling a lot. I just kind of said, what's up, and walked by. He was cool, though. He was cool as hell. I feel you. You don't want to interrupt us with the moon. Have you had moon rocks? I don't know what your yeah. life really oh, yeah. like. <laughs> how is it? How, how does, how's the moon rocks? I fuck with the moon rocks. Moon rocks, to me, I don't really like, I don't smoke blunts. So, you know, you can't really Put smoke papers. moon rocks in the paper. Uh -uh. kind of, I mean, you can. It's just like. They burn uneven to me. Right, because you know, I never, I never seen people grind up. No, nah, you can't, you rocks. can't, you right. can't do that. Fuck your grind up. Grind the moon rocks is really for like the bowls and the bombs, and you know what I'm saying. That Cali That's life. how you really want to smoke it. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That's that that too much shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that too Yo, much. Y'all didn't see the um Instagram clip with the dude taking the um. Oh, it's on my page right now. And the Go to dude out. Just it, fell out. It's on my like, page oh, right yeah. this second. That's why when he said that about yo, you do that when you in your house. Exactly. Nah, that's who, yo. That was um, that was a rapper, man. Was it? No, no. You thinking of something else? You think of Corrupt's brother, Corrupt's Roscoe. brother. Roscoe. Yeah. When <laughs> Roscoe hit that, hit that damn, coughed twice and passed out. I was like, ain't no way ever. Ever, 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 you can catch me doing that. That's yeah. enough of a warning right there. Like that my man hit wild. it twice, coughed twice. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> passed the fuck out. <laughs> That was wild. That's crazy. All right, so Snoop's on your list, man. Who else would you want to burn with? Um, probably like Samuel L. Jackson. I wonder if he smoke. He has to smoke, man. Yeah, yeah of course yeah. he smokes. No homo. When you watch his commercials, his lips could tell you he smokes. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga should be black as hell. Bruh. Yo, I want. I, if, uh, 
my bucket list would be Dave Chappelle. Like I, I really want, especially now, yeah, Dave yeah, Chappelle, yeah. like deep ass That'd Dave be Chappelle. A good one too, hell yeah, yeah. Bro, let's sit down and smoke, man. You try not to um burn too many cigarettes in my face. Like, you know what I mean? Because yeah. he'll smoke a pack easily. Yeah. But him and Redman, him and Redman. Oh though. man, that's the that's the that's the OG stoner rapper mm-hmm. right there, man. Mm-hmm. Red, I learned how to roll a blunt listening to his song "How to Roll a Blunt." And I used um I used pencil sharpener shit and I used it with a piece of paper. And I remember rolling that shit up and this chick looked at me and said, "You don't know how to roll a blunt." And I was like, "I tried." I listened to what Red Man said. She rap right. is rap supposed to tell you everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to learn from rap, man. It does. It does. It does, man. So that's what's up, man. So you definitely a weed connoisseur. You also, uh, man. Look, let's talk about the clothes. Cause I I looked up one day and we had the Soul God sneakers. We had the we had the <laughs> shirts. I'm like, bro, look, did this man just really flip it on me like that, man? How'd you get into the design shit? Like, how did that come about? Um, I mean, really, I never, you know, I never, I ain't even gonna say I design clothes, even though I do. Yeah. But it's not like, you know what I'm saying? I just honestly, like, me being on tour with, like, Tuki and Ritz, and I just saw how being a rapper, you gotta, merch. you know what I'm saying? You gotta have certain things, and merch yeah. was one of those things, so, you know. I'm a creative, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to make some dope shit, and then I started, you know those bleach shirts? Oh yeah, I saw them. was wearing? Yeah. I mean, we low key kind of started that, you know what I'm saying? Man, keep that, you know, say, but, say it high key, I started that. Uh, it's all good, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tripping, but it's yeah. just cool, cause it's like, it just like hit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it definitely was dope, but like the pieces I saw were dope, but I know you did a little pop up at um City of Ink. Yeah, with yeah. Fani and, um, Tukey. Yeah. Yeah. The cool kids, man. Yeah. The cool kid hey, crew, man. man. That's some cool. Them, them two them two niggas right there is some cool motherfuckers. Man. I believe it, man. We had Tukey. Tukey was in the building. We had an interview, and literally Tukey had to leave. He had the shop open, and we <laughs> yeah. was backed up. So I was like, you got to split. We ain't had a yeah. back since, man. He's like, yeah. he, it's like a leprechaun. I got to catch him again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a, like a Pokemon. Like, I got to sneak up on him at the right time, and I'm going to catch two. That's funny. How'd you and Tukey hook up, man? Because I know y'all are good friends. Like, how'd you get in contact with Tukey Carter? And I, I know them sessions be lit. Um. I actually met Tuki through um, Go Dreamer. Shout out to Dreamer. Go yeah. Dreamer, yeah. Um, you know, Dreamer and Tuki used to be in a group called Hollyweird. So was he in Hollyweird? Tuki was. Yeah. Bro, why am I tripping? Like, I, yeah, I did not yeah. know Tuki was in Hollyweird. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I used to hear about them a lot when I first got down here to Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Hollyweird was was dope. You know what I'm saying? You know, I honestly, I ain't gonna front. Tuki showed me a lot of like, you know what I'm saying? I I knew how to rap, but like, I didn't know how to rap. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, shout out to Tuki, you know what I mean? Is there gonna be a, two, a, a, a Tuki Big Chico project coming? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't even gonna say too much about that. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Right, but man. we got a track, we got a track on this um, mixtape I'm about to drop. I saw that. Man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we got some, we got a, we got a lot of shit. Man. That's what's up. With them sessions, like, like who outsmoked the other? <laughs> I came in here when Tuki came in here that day. I was nervous because we had a we had a crowd for him too, and I was like, "Bro, I don't want to be blunt for blunt for you. I think you gonna hit, you gonna win." <laughs> nah, I think Tuki you don't smoke blunts either. Yeah, shit, boy. But who 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 you think will outsmoke the other man? You think you, you think you could um uh, you smoke him out? I mean, me being the person I am, of course <laughs> I'm gonna say yeah. Of course I'm gonna smoke him out. You know what I'm saying? But you know, yeah. hey man. Stoner life. Stoner life. You know what? Throw a smoke dizzle on, on on my list too, man. I want I want to burn one with Kush God one day, man. I think that's doable though. Like, actually, that's not a bucket. That's very doable. We, we yeah. need to do some pay per view type shit on some like how to battle rappers. Yeah. We should do like some <coughs> battle well, smokers. We gotta pay homage to World Star. Hey, that, that might be a that we gotta, might be a good idea. We gotta right pay I'm homage to I'm World Star. Did that first. We talked about it on film. Worldstar did it. <laughs> Worldstar did it first. Battle smokers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's how. I, that's how I found Wiz Khalifa. Yo, it was like Wiz, Nipsey Hussle, Currency, Big Crit. Um, I want to say Be Real. They would all do these videos where they have all these pounds of weed and shit. They'd be smoking. They challenge each other. So yeah, go back through the world. It's, that's like Worldstar, early oh, Worldstar. Yeah, yeah. But we could bite that. Yeah, it's cool. Word, word up. <laughs> Yo, nah, it's cool. It's cool. We could bite that. Yeah. They they wouldn't mind. But the Worldstar doesn't mind. They don't make content. They cool. <laughs> no shot fire, but you know, just a, just an obvious fact. Like, they don't make anything, so no shot fire. It's <laughs> an obvious fact. Like, they don't there. mind. They don't mind. A challenge got started and it ended ended up on World Star. <coughs> Killing nigga. 
That's crazy. Yeah, man. So, all right. So, we got the project coming up. Um, we, we see you got the merch. What else are you working on? And what else? What else could we be looking out for from you for this year? Um, really, I mean, shit. I just named like we just named like almost five projects. Yeah, we really <laughs> did. So basically, music. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, just trying to make it all make sense, man. Yeah. You know, man, bring it to the people, make something dope. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you right now, you're a rock star. When I saw you in South by Southwest, I'm like, this nigga literally like a rock star at this moment. Like he got the glasses on. I'm like, shit. Anybody <laughs> ask you for your autograph? Like, like at one point, uh, they should have. Nah, ain't nobody asking me for my autograph yet. You know what I mean? It was like Jimi Hendrix Which walking is cool. down the street. I'm okay with that right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was cool, man. You know, I got at South by Southwest. Somebody literally walked up to me and said, "I saw your show in Las Vegas." I watched it at a weed party, and that shit fucked me wow. up. Wow. Yeah, that fucked me up, man. That, that was like the, the biggest testament that people actually watch us. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? So I even at told weed her parties, At man. weed parties, yeah. That's Those, really cool. Old girl yeah, jumped man. in the comments, too. It was like, yo, it was our weed party. We do it every month. <laughs> <laughs> we do it every month here yeah, in Vegas. Man. If you ever come to Vegas, come holler. Yeah. like, nigga, yeah, They're not just watching up. this shit in somebody's basement. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, they watching this shit at a weed party. Yeah, yeah. We kicking it like that, and that's dope, man. So, yeah, eventually you're going to get somebody to do that same shit to you, and you're going to be fucked up. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up, man. All right, so we're going to fade out, man. Let everybody know how they can find you online, how they can get in contact with you and everything as far as on, you know saying, just social media platforms and all that so they can keep up with the music. Word. Well, I'm going to start with IG. Soul God Chico, C-H-E-E-K-O. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? And shit, everything else is basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just Google me. Google Big it. Chico, C-H-E-E-K-O. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he got the workout, man. I, like I say, that new project coming out with you and Jerz that's coming out April 20th. And so be on the lookout for that for my man. Appreciate you coming yeah, through, man. Absolutely, man. Thank you for letting me smoke. Too. No doubt. Hey, bro, this is what we do, man. Hell yeah. Next week is going to be a pop up. We got Lyric the Nudist coming through. She's talking about Cloud Fest 420. And it, I could already tell you it's going to be a zoo. So, you know what I'm saying? So, tune in. Yeah, that's you crazy. You might have to repeat that because you say it so fast. You oh, yeah, it's going to be somebody naked in here. Nudist. Y'all need to grow up. I can't believe Yo, last time she was here. Last time she but, was uh, here. Shocked us. Shocked us. I wasn't expecting it. Oh, bro, how about I, I shocked me? She took it off right here. Like, I'm like, uh, I'm the one should have been shocked. Y'all the ones out here acting like kids. Uh, <laughs> but Lyric coming through next uh, week. Um, she's gonna be speaking about Cloud Fest, obviously. Um, you know, she's gonna bring some of the people who are gonna be participating in the, in the the event. If y'all don't know about her Cloud Fest or 420 events, they definitely get out of control. You know what I mean? So she's gonna come through. We're gonna talk next week, and that's gonna be a dope episode. Um, as, as always, get the Live Hip Hop Daily app. Watch us every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Watch all the dope shows they got on Live Hip Hop Daily, and subscribe to the Cash Color Canvas podcast on Apple Podcasts. Tune in, iHeartRadio, Google Play. Stitcher, SoundCloud, um, everywhere but Title. Title ain't fucking with us just yet. I'm gonna say it till Title put yeah, us on there, or or come down here and just put y'all cameras up here. We'll save you money. You know what I'm saying? You can film <laughs> here. You don't gotta go get Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg to recreate our show. You can just come down here with a camera, man. Save right. some bread, man. We'll right. still want to get paid, but just save us some bread. So that's it. Cash color cannabis, a high level of conversation. We out. <laughs>